driving across the country with my friend Keith with a pickup truck with a camper cap on the back. And we're in Arizona. And I see this girl with a little baby and she's crying. I said, what's wrong? And she said, my boyfriend beat me up and I'm on my way back home to Ohio to stay with my parents. And I said, oh, well, uh, we're going to Pennsylvania. We can take you to Ohio. We got this. We got this. She's like, oh, thank you so much. So she, she jumps in the truck, start driving, and we're driving, and the baby's crying. And we're driving, and we're driving, and the baby's stinking. I said, why don't you go in the back? It's getting dark. Go in the back, lay down, relax. Keith and I are going to just switch off driving, and uh, we'll figure it all out, and uh, if we get tired, we'll stop. So, okay, so Keith and I are driving and we're figuring this thing out. And I get out the map, I look at the map, and I said, hey, there's this shortcut. It goes right through the desert. So if we take the shortcut, we couple a couple hours off our trip. I'm thinking, okay, that sounds like a good idea. I said, well, there's no turns, nothing you have to worry about, Keith. Just, just go, and if you get tired or anything happens, if you're lost, wake me up. Okay. So we're driving, I fall asleep, I have a map in my hand. I'm driving, driving, oh, boom, I get a pop. Oh man, I wake up, looking around. Okay, we're driving some more, driving, driving, oh, boom, boom. Another pop. I'm like, jeez, I'm never going to get any sleep on this road. I got to switch off some with it. So I wake up, I look around, and I look, and I see another road. And I'm like, there's another road, we're lost. Keith, we're lost. I look over at Keith and I'm like, Keith, are we lost? And he's got his hands on the steering wheel, his eyes are closed, and he's sound asleep. <laughs> That's the road. We're driving through the desert. I'm like, Keith, no, no. I grab the steering wheel. He wakes up. He grabs the steering wheel at the same time. We're both holding onto the steering wheel, screaming, ah, we don't got this. So we start heading back towards the road. I'm like, make it, make it, make it to the road, make it. Almost at the road, and all of a sudden we sink up to the axles in sand. I'm like, no, no, we're stuck in the desert. No, please. I look, nothing down that way, nothing down this way, just darkness. And well, we're stuck here. We're going to have to stay overnight in the back of the camper, and we'll figure this thing out in the morning. Uh, it's the 70s, no cell phones. So we get in the back, go to sleep. I wake up, there's a baby crying in my ear. I'm sweating like crazy, it's really hot. I jump out of the back, I hit the sand, and my feet are burning, I jump back in the truck. I'm like, oh my God, it's a thousand degrees out there. It's a desert, holy cow. I'm like, we're stuck here, I don't know what we're gonna do. So I look, and all I see is heat waves, that way and this way, nothing but heat waves. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this. This is a nightmare. So I go in the back, I get a jug of water, we're passing a jug of water around. Our faces are all red, we're sweating. And I'm saying, well, just drink this water, stay out of the sun. So we're drinking the water, we're staying out of the sun, we're trying to be cool. And I'm thinking, well, I look at my cooler, I'm thinking, well, there's melted ice in my cooler. If worse comes to worse, we're going to have to drink this. We'll do something to, to stay until someone comes. So, Finally, I hear this engine rumbling. I think, what's that? I look out, and there's a guy on the road, and he's running down with this nylon rope. He's going, tie this under your car. Tie this under your truck. And my friend Keith goes, yay! And he grabs the rope, and he runs down, and he ties it underneath. <laughs> and I get behind the wheel, and we're pulling, and we're pulling. Come on, baby, get up on the road. Please, God, get up on the road. And the truck gets up on the road, finally, and I jump out. I go underneath and I get out my knife and I cut off the rope from the truck. And as I cut it off, it drags out from underneath. And I look and it's dragging out because the guy is driving down the road. We didn't even get a chance to say thank you to the guy. He's gone. <laughs> but mom and the baby said thank you to us and we got it back home to Pittsburgh. Hey.